hidden and very invisible. As promised Food Friday, an acute shortage of agricultural extension officers to train dairy farmers on modern production techniques and the high cost of production have made dairy farming a costly and unproductive venture for many farmers. But some stakeholders in the dairy value chain are keen to change that narrative by capacity building certain selected farmers who are in turn expected to share their experience with the wider farming community. Our reporter Gabriel Kudaka has those details. Nehemiah Kowech takes farmers and some field extension officers across his fodder farm in Mosoriot, Nandi, that comprises Desmodium, Napier grass, Kaliandra, among others. Kowech embraced this concept of supplementing commercial feeds with homegrown fodder as a way of cutting costs after a series of trainings organized by his local cooperative society. Through Gender Program, Farmers have been flocking his farm to get tips on best dairy farming practices. A number of them have embraced this concept. Experts say such methods are very productive. Farmers learn in many ways. They have access to information online and the internet, magazines. Uh, but really the thing that, that, that's most valuable to a farmer is another farmer sharing their experience, their stories about what they've done, what was successful, what was not successful, what, what, um, what their visions are. And that's how farmers learn. So the concept of that is actually what the reference farm model is built around. Initially, I could not tell you how much feed my cows, my cows were consuming per day. But now through that training, eh, I've been able to know that maybe the amount of silage I will feed per day is this amount. The number of kilos of hay I will feed per day is this amount. The reference model farmers work closely with extension officers who undergo regular training, courtesy of Kenya market-led dairy supply chain project KEMDAP. Other farmers within the region now can come and see that if a dairy farm can be managed properly, then they can go and make uh, good farming outside there. We have been having several trainings on the webinars, uh, mainly starting with the farm management practices, uh, identifying areas of uh, weakness within the farm, and also discussing with our mentors on the best ways to implement uh, the challenges. And after training, we do, we do practicals with my farmers. In terms of uh, reaching out to farmers to provide knowledge and skills to undertake the dairy farming as a business, we've used an extension approach called the Dairy Farm Assistant Approach, whereby a dairy farm assistant is a technically trained young graduate who would work with farmers. The lessons learned under the reference farm project, uh, one is the farming must be done looking into the profitability and by that you make decisions based on the records and based on the data that you collect from that farm. Is your farm actually, is your farm profitable? Is your milk making you money? Or are you just keeping cows? Because keeping cows is not a business, but actually producing milk for